Tip number five: minimizing air factors from cryogen. First, the purity of liquid nitrogen should be greater than 99.9 percent, since lower quality leads to higher measured saturation pressure. Other ways to minimize air factors are by taking care of the tools and using them appropriately for an analysis. The doer can collect ice over time from the atmosphere due to its temperature. Cleaning it regularly prevents ice forming at the bottom, which can accumulate over time and consequently break the tubes. To clean it, wait until liquid nitrogen is fully evaporated and the doer is fully thawed. Do not pour liquid nitrogen into the sink as it can damage the water pipes. Pour out the pool of water that has been collected over time and wipe the doer thoroughly. The micromoretics isothermal jackets are used to keep the sample tubes under constant temperature during the analysis as liquid nitrogen evaporates over time. The isothermal jacket is made of a porous material that acts as a wick to pull up the liquid nitrogen up to the top of the jacket, as long as the end is dipped in the liquid. It is critical to align the top of the sample tubes jackets and the jacket on the P0 tube. Also, liquid nitrogen should not be filled more than the circle on the dipstick, since it indicates the top of the jacket when the elevator is raised. For more information on how this affects the data, please refer to our app note 84 on our Micromoretics website. The filler rod can be used to decrease the void volume in the tube, especially when it comes to low surface area material to minimize any potential air from the free space.